KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. No Rise Act payments. No All Rise payments. No ARPA spending plan from the Lou and Josh administration. These stories dominating the headlines as months after receiving some $600 million in ARP funds, the government of Guam still hasn't spent a single dollar. But it's a totally different story 45 minutes to the north in the CNMI, where CNMI Governor's spokesperson Kevin Bautista tells the link public officials began planning how to spend federal bailout funds before they even got them. We've been planning out what we're going to be spending on ARPA since March, actually, when ARPA was already in its formative stages in Congress. And while senators, mayors, and the people of Guam have been asking for the administration's spending plan for months, up in the CNMI, a spending plan doesn't only exist, it was actually shared with all branches of government and the public in early June. Governor Torres, Lieutenant Governor Palacios, our administration, our Department of Finance, were very proactive in putting together a plan that worked well with the legislature and the judiciary. They were all together in one room on June 4th, um, and they applauded the plan that we presented to them. And, and we were very appreciative of that support because we knew that we were in this together. And as GovGuam's $600 million is sitting in the bank untouched and thousands clamor for direct assistance through the RISE or All RISE Acts, Bautista said the CNMI has already spent millions in ARP and will send out $500 stimulus checks to every taxpayer in the first weeks of August. We needed to come in and leverage and maximize every single federal dollar and every single federal resources that we were receiving um, during this unprecedented time. And we needed to make sure that we're doing this not just for not just for the shortfall of government revenue, but for the people that need it the most. But here on Guam, those who need it most continue to wait as the legislature pushes Adeloup for a plan and more importantly, transparency. But again, in the CNMI, it's a different story. This is an unprecedented time um, and, and the governor wholeheartedly believes in collaboration with all three branches of government, regardless of the politics. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.